traveling the world. I wanted to do this video because if you have a dream to travel the world, you don't have to know how to do it because after doing it and traveling in 35 countries for the past 12 years, I've got to say that when I first started, I had a dream in my heart as a child to travel the world, but I really didn't know how I would do that. And this has been one of the biggest lessons of my life to know that you don't have to have all the details, but if you have the dream, you can execute it. Now, I want to clarify, the first time I did a talk on how to take six months a year off in the center of Silicon Valley, uh, there were about 15 people there listening to my talk, and I was really excited to share what I had learned about taking six months off. And lots of excuses <laughs> from the audience and I, I thought it was so interesting because it's like yeah if you come up with excuses you're gonna be right and sure you're gonna have some things reasons why you can't do it maybe you're taking care of parents or something that really requires you to be home but if you're from a Western country like Europe or uh, Australia or uh, United States, you can save up money to do it and go to the less expensive places. Uh, one time I spent 18 months in Asia, going to six different countries. That's not the only time I went to Asia. I've been to Asia, I can't even count how many times, um, but it's affordable. And what I want to say is, um, don't think of it in terms of dollars. Try it and see what you think. Um, I wanted to really give you the motivation to, rather than listening to people, when I first started traveling, nobody was doing it by themselves. Women were not doing it. That seems crazy now because more women are traveling solo than ever before in numbers. Um, but honestly, I only knew one other person that had done it and I got in touch with her, uh, Mary Beth Bonds, and um, she was wonderful. And she gave me the statistic that most, would now so this is when I first started, um, the biggest demographic of people that are traveling the world are between 45 and 55 and wear a size 12 dress. I thought that was so interesting, Mary Beth Bonds. Um, because we think it's gonna be some 20 year old guy. No, usually the 20 year old guys have to travel with their girlfriends. Um, I don't meet that many guys traveling by themselves. Uh, I meet a lot more women traveling by themselves. So don't let anything hold you back. Gender, money. Like I said, if you're from a Western country, you can really save up the money um, unless you have some do or die situation where you really can't leave it. But let me leave you with this. If you come up with 10 reasons why you can't do it, you're gonna be right. So don't come up with them. Keep it in your heart and see how it unfolds. I didn't know anything about volunteering worldwide. I learned that from my son. And that's a great way to travel. Not these pricey programs where you gotta pay him $5,000 to shovel elephant poop. No, not those. I looked into that one. Uh, found out I'd have two roommates <laughs> and I'd be shoveling elephant shit for most of the day. Nice. Uh, so I turned that one down. I'm like, really? I have to pay you for that in Sri Lanka? No way. You can set up your own volunteer projects, which I've done. Um, I could do another video on that. But don't give up on your dreams. You can do it.